my name is William Hendershot, and I've been sailing since I was 12 years old in a number of different classes. Uh, the scow is the, the most recent boat I've been sailing. And uh, the, I'm, I'm from Montreal, Canada. In, in light winds, like we have at the moment, and you're sailing downwind, you really want to have the, the telltale pointing towards the mast. So you change the angle of the boat so the, the telltale is pointing directly towards the mast. And then if the wind increases, then you know you can sail a little bit lower. And if the wind lightens up again, then you know you have to head up a bit. And you can tell the wind velocity by how straight the telltale is, is hanging down. Here it's, we have almost no wind at all. But uh, So basically if I see the telltale starting to, to move up, then I know that the wind strength has gone up and I can profit from that by heading a little bit lower. So whenever I get a little bit of a puff, I try to ease off a bit, head a little bit lower, watching the angle of the telltale, because as you bear off, the apparent wind goes down, and so the telltale will start to come in again. So you, you're always playing with two things, the, the amount of, of droop in the, the vertical angle, and also the, the angle as to whether it's aiming towards the mast or in front of the mast. And tell us why you use that yarn rather than some other sort well, of telltale. If you look at, at these telltales, they, they tend to bounce around and, and tell you that there's wind all the time, but the, the, the wool, this acrylic wool, is, is heavier, so it doesn't fly as easily. So it makes a much better wind gauge uh, in terms of the force of the wind than the, the lightweight telltales up top.